Assalamu alaikum. In this video tutorial, we will learn subtotal function. Subtotal function is the special function. By using subtotal function, we can find out the subtotal range. You can select action type of subtotal function. Let's let's make concept clear with an example this look at this worksheet here are showing a company's sales data where is showing region and sales this sales record according to 2007 2008 2009 and 2010 and beside there is another column here is also the sales of the company's record which is uh, indicate 2007, 2008 and 2009 and 2010. So here we have to find out 2007 subtotal, 2008 subtotal and 2009 subtotal and 2010 sub subtotal. And beside we have to find out find out the 2007 total average 2008 total average and 2009 total average and 2010 total average so we don't waste the time so we will go for practical so click on the sale put the equal to we we know we know already equal sign term for the formula so sub total is sub total formula is showing here we click on double click after that here is some functions showing so this function name is average count count a max mean product sum sum average count max product but just follow the left here, here are showing some number which is indicate sums the same there is two which name is count again we will go down there is 102 there is also count there is 3 this is the count a and we will go down 103 also counted this double kind of function are showing so we will describe later just we will first of all select the 9 ok so 9 after that I put the comma and after that here is showing reference 1 the reference 1 means we have to select C2 to C4 then close the bracket enter see that subtotal is showing now what will we do we will do exactly copy the cell and we will put in the 2008, 2009 and 2010. See that all of the subtotal is showing exactly. And we will go right side and here are showing sales data also. Here we have to find out the average sale of 2008. So equal to subtotal. We will select the subtotal here. We will select the average for the average. We will select 1. After that, we will give the comma. Then, reference file as same. We will select, we'll select G2. We will select G2 to G4. Then, we will close the bracket, enter. 
so we find out the total average of this three column here total average is, is 14 so again we will copy the cell we will select 2008 2009 and 2010 we will paste this way so we find out the total average of 2009 2010 and 2008 come to the orange color we will find out the grand total so how will we so how will we find out the grand total first of all equal equal to subtotal will again we will go to sum comma then we will select the total range 2007 to 2010 enter see that we have find out the total grant just follow one thing here if I select this row total total sum is showing as same we find out the grand total but I have selected the all cell here omitted which of the subtotal we have found the for the formula now we will find out the total we will find out the grand total 2 equal to sum we have selected all the cell enter see here are showing all cells data here if I select here to here see same value see that there is sum formula and subtotal sum what is the difference between sum and 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 subtotal sum when when we have started the formula total that time we have found the height the three row and I will modify the formula here I will put 109 and see value has been changed so here height reference cells value also found 109 so these are the difference between only 9 and 109 so so if I put here total average if I put here 101 then formula not change because if I hide this cell see that here is showing 14,000 because this is the difference in this tutorial we have learned a special kind of subtotal function in the next lesson we will learn we will learn using formula in the table so thank you very much we will see in the next lesson